What is up guys? It is late. Well, maybe not that late, but it's dark. And I really need to go ahead and work on this and take my funny and finish cleaning it up. Cause the more, the longer that I let it sit, the more chance that shit has legs and starts fucking walking away from my area. I don't know how it does that, but it fucking happens. So, figure out what I need to do and uh, I'll show you here. So I am able to get rid of the, or eliminate the, oh man it's dark. I'm able to get rid of the clean lines that run through the throttle body, you don't need that. So we're going to get rid of all these hard lines and cooling lines that run on the bottom. Um, yeah, I'm going to have a friend probably seal this off and then put it back onto the block near the thermostat. Um, yeah, so this actually might be like a two-part, maybe three-part video of or episode of uh, cleaning up this intake manifold because I actually want to spray it down with brake cleaner and get rid of all this gunk so it's cleaned up a little bit more better all right let's go ahead and hit this time lapse of uh getting rid of, rid of as much stuff as i possibly can for now So there you go, I got all those hard lines and random vacuum hoses, um, things that run to the EGR. Here it is now the bottom of the intake manifold. Without the hard lines, it's a lot cleaner. I do see some vacuum issues that I need to figure out. Um, it is getting late. Here's an empty connector which connected to one of those sensors uh, for the EGR. Um, well, it's actually just like a little adapter thing there. Ah, interesting. Anyways, <laughs> so I'm gonna take a little bit of a break. I'm gonna go ask a friend if he can. Well, I'm gonna cut this off first, or I'm gonna ask him first if he can seal this up, and then uh, then I'll cut it off if I get a final answer. And then um, yeah, we'll see you uh, in a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do this before it gets too late and I'm not supposed to be making too much noise. I'm going to go cut this pipe off so I can bring the plate over to my friend and he can uh, fill it in with weld. But uh, yeah, let's get to it. later all right guys so it's a couple days later actually it's about a whole week later since the the last clip um so a couple things remember that water neck thing so i asked a friend if he can fill it in with weld and he never came to pick it up it's all right so i figured shit maybe if i just fill it in with jb weld and then grind it down and then um make it I guess look a little bit cleaner hopefully it shouldn't leak but I guess that's the risk we're gonna take so uh, the reason why the intake manifold is not done yet is because I wanna clean these valves up and all these other um, things that are important before I actually put together because they're actually in hard places to reach and I want to, I don't want to like put it back together and then shit, uh, it's dirty and stuff like that. So it's kind of why I'm taking my time also. Um, you check out the upper part of the manifold. It's starting to look a lot, a lot more cleaner. As you can see, I clean out two of the cylinders or the two of the runners uh, with carb cleaner. <clears throat> We're going to finish that with this side also and the rest of the lower part of the manifold. So that way, um, manifold is just a lot more cleaner. So um, 
we're going to grind this out the little i guess my little block off plate hopefully things go good um i'm gonna try to clean up the manifold as um best as i could take off those valves clean that up with carb cleaner as well and um yeah we'll get to it and that should be i hopefully that's the end of this intake manifold uh episode but uh we'll see So it's finished using Jesus. Apologize for that. Finished uh, wire wheeling it. Oh, to kind of clean it up a little bit better. It's not the prettiest, but I think it'll work. It'll do. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the bench grinder away, and then um, finish cleaning the, the intake manifold. I made kind of a huge mess. Um, make sure you wear eye protection. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break from all that carb cleaner because um, I was already three cans of carb cleaner straight, and um, it's not good to inhale that kind of stuff. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and let the upper part of the intake manifold dry. Um, I need to replace some hoses for the PCV. Uh, I don't want to do that while all that carb cleaner is still laying in there because it'll cause the hoses to, could cause the hoses to crack. But um, yeah, I still got a long way to go for the intake manifold. We'll get to that. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit in debate about taking off all the valves because I don't have any paper gaskets, and from what I could see. But I do start removing the valves, like the air, idle air control valve, the purge control valve, and the cold start valve. I can see that it is backed by paper gaskets. I don't have paper gaskets. Even the throttle body, I'll see about taking it off so I can better clean it. But I don't have paper gaskets. Um, so I'm just trying to, I guess, clean it the best I can without removing any of those. Uh, it kind of sucks, but and I know I could figure out better where my issue may lie with my spark, but I'm just going to do the best I can and then um, pray for the best, hope for the best. All right, so I guess we're gonna end this video here. I ran out of carb cleaner. I do need more carb cleaner. It is getting better. I don't know if you can see it. But it was completely black in there. Um, there's still gunk in there. Um, I need to go grab more carb cleaner to finish this job up. Um, hopefully we'll take a little bit of a break, give you some fresh slash throwback content of some ride-alongs in the next video that i'll be setting up it's, it might be a little bit of a short video but um so i'm gonna there's gonna be some some ride-along clips in there some like i guess reaction of um from back in like two years ago when my car was still na um but yeah uh stay safe wash your hands wear your mask like comment subscribe you know the deal and i'll see you next time Awesome!